uh, this is poly key AC polling system to produce piezo polymer or piezo ceramic materials by AC polling, which is better than a regular DC polling. Okay? And in this system, you have a ferroelectric test system and also a 10 kV high voltage amplifier. So this is a 10 kV 5 milliamps milliamp amplifier up to 1 kilohertz. Okay. And uh, the sample is over here. It's like 32 micron PVDF film with a silver electrode soaked in uh, silicon oil. Okay. The software is uh, very versatile. You can program many, many voltage with a different uh, uh, period of frequency. Uh, you added a, a big table. So the software will follow the voltage and the period to automatically perform the polling process. You can even set a, a preset a PR remnant of polarization value because the polarization value is directly proportional to the piezo D33 constant. Okay? So you can set this uh, PR value. If the PR of your sample reach this PR value, it will automatically stop. Otherwise, it will continue to do the polling following all the voltages in this table. Okay. Once you set up here, you can click, you can click right, right here. Okay. So now let's perform right, you see, it just perform some P-loop, but automatically, this show you the polarization loop, following, this is uh, the voltage, the EC coercive field in that loop. And over here, show you the PR as a function of voltage, like this. In the table, it gives you a summary. All these results will be saved in the data, okay? So in this one, we measured over probably 70, 80 different voltage, but automatically, okay? You see, the P rule become more and more like a square, and uh, the rem remnant polarization increase with the voltage, but it's still below the preset value over here. Right? So again, this is uh, automatic. Okay? The voltage will increase following this table. It's automatic. Okay, and here is a ferroelectric polar polarization loop measurement system by Polyki Technologies. Okay. And over here, this is a new high voltage amplifier and uh, up to 10 kV, 5 milliamp, better than one kilohertz with a short lead time about two months. You do not have to wait for one year to get a high voltage amplifier. Now let's come back uh, to the PR. Uh, it's still below 70. Voltage is close to 7 kV. You see, now you can see the voltage changing, right? Voltage is slowly increase following the table over here. Will the PR also increase? And this is the sample, right? You can see the sample is actually moving because at such high voltage, the sample will generate a dimensional change a few percent actually. You see, sample moving with voltage because it's a uh, a piece of material, right? Okay. And uh, the advantage of this one is the quantitative polling. This gives you a preset D33 value if you set the PR value. Okay, it's a good control. Oh, it started again, but we can stop it. Right. Start it again, okay? See, just uh, I probably accidentally click on one button, so it click again. Okay. But anyway, so this is how it works. Give you a summary in the plot of the PR and the EC as a function of voltage. Okay. And certainly the material has memory effect because this is already actually the third or the fifth time measurement. So its PR is quite high comparing with a, a fresh sample. Okay. So this is a quantitative AC poly. For PVDF, it can give you a good control of the D33. For piezo single crystal material, it can make the higher D33 or more transparent based on a lot of publications. Okay.
Yeah. You know, finish the, the test, the PR is still lower because I did not go to a very high voltage. But again, here I'll give you a summary of the course, you feel the EC and the revenue polarization PR. Thank you.